Yesterday, the last of the two bedroom, two bath homes on Lewis Avenue arrived. This is another two bedroom, two bath in Harbor Crossings manufactured home community in our land lease community. And there you see the four houses. And this is the house as it was arriving. Hi everybody, this is Maria Dolan, Marketing Director for Harbor Crossings. We have the joy and privilege of showing you the final house in a series of um, homes that we built on Lewis Avenue. Uh, three of the houses have now sold and we have two left. Two left are two bedroom, two bath at 27 and at 25 Lewis Avenue. So what you're seeing here is Ron the driver coming out from Ephrata, Pennsylvania with a Redmond home, which is a division of Champion Homes, which is publicly traded on the stock market exchange. And this house is the last one in that series. This will take us about three months to um, finalize the house. We have a 38 point checklist of different things we have to do once the house arrives. So the house is constructed in a manufacturing facility in Ephrata, Pennsylvania. And then when the house arrives, we have by then completed the whole foundation for the house, the concrete pad and the concrete piers that are inside the pad that go beyond the frost line to support the house and it will never heave with any freeze of the ground. And after that, we will be connecting the house with tie downs and cinder blocks that support the chassis, the steel chassis underneath the house. You can see it there. And then we will add skirting and gutters and steps and storm doors and then all the connections to the water, the sewer, um, the electricity so it's a big list and um, at the very end we finally apply for the final HUD inspection so the federal government has head inspect HUD inspectors across the country and they come to the final product of the house so that it can be approved according to their standards so we follow the HUD code for manufactured homes this is why I distinguish between trailers, mobile homes, and manufactured homes. A trailer was built to a different construction code uh, prior to 1950, and it was much more like an RV. It was not a recreational vehicle. It was not meant to be year-round living. So the windows are not thermal pane, and there's very little insulation in the walls, and um, then mobile homes were built in the 60s up until 1976 when the federal government created the manufactured housing code, uh, the uniform code across the country. And therefore all the states no longer had their own codes of how to build manufactured homes. And this standardized ended up being um, better for every consumer. So it's basically like buying a house um, because of the way it's built just like a house. So these are manufactured homes, not mobile homes and not trailers. I know it's a very common jargon in our vernacular to call it a trailer. And um, I like to dist distinguish why it's not a trailer. I mean, honestly, you can call it whatever you like because we're still happy to sell you it. But the point is you're getting a better quality product so um, I'm just using that as an education for people to understand um, how their home is really quality built. It really helps when you have relatives who give you a hard time about this type of housing to understand the innovative um, journey that manufactured housing has had. Yes, our history is the RV industry. And like I said, in 1976, the RV industry went in one direction and then the year-round living uh, went in a different direction. 
So we were really excited to see, um, you see the blue one, the clay one, the gray one, and then the new house is olive. And so that completes the development that we've done on Lewis Avenue in Harbor Crossings. So Harbor Crossings is located at the crossroads of the Black Horse, the Fire Road, and the Garden State Parkway. We're in a fabulous location. You're close to the parkway at exit 37, and then you're 15 minutes to Atlantic City, Margate, and Ocean City. It's a fabulous location. A lot of people love retiring here from Staten Island and Philadelphia, and they love living in a resort type living. We're so close to the water and the ocean that it just feels like you're on vacation. So um, it's very exciting to see people hearing about us. We've done extensive advertising so that um, people are aware of what a great purchase it is. And more recently, we've had many, many people um, seeking condos and townhouses and finding us uh, much more affordable and yet giving them the pride of home ownership. So um, it's a really interesting um, place to be to give people the home that they're looking for and the autonomy and yet bring the price down. We've had several people move out of um, condos in the area and um, save quite a bit of money with purchasing one of our manufactured homes. It's um, really fun to hear how people come to us and I should probably do some more testimonial videos. I haven't done them in a while. I think with the lockdown, a lot of that uh, went by the wayside, as you can imagine. So here the guys are backing up the house. You've got all the guys um, out helping out. Um, Ron is very skilled, but um, he really needs eyes on every corner of the house so that he can know how to back it in. He's so exceptional. This one is not even going to need the um, bobcat. Normally he'll bring it to a certain spot and then we'll disengage the truck and then connect the bobcat and then back it up more precisely. But this house um, he was able to do uh, very precisely and we were thrilled about that. So you're, there you see again uh, the first two houses it sold and then the two that um, 27 Lewis arrived a week ago and then 25 Lewis today. And again, we have um, the concrete pad ready and then there's a concrete patio next to each house. And then there's two concrete pads for two vehicles. So two vehicles is the most vehicles you can have at any one household in Harbor Crossings. Unfortunately, we're limited by the parameters in the lease. Hence why I tell everybody that this is a land lease community. So we're not really um, right for everybody. Um, I've had people apply that had four vehicles and unfortunately we just um, aren't really capable of taking in that many vehicles. This community was built um, in the 1950s and was originally called Pleasantville Mobile Estates and the Dolan family purchased it in 1974 and um, part of it was um, housing which was temporary housing uh, I believe mostly mobile homes for the jockeys at the Atlantic City uh, race uh, horse racing area and then the other half of Pleasantville Mobile Estates was a campground so um, we no longer have any of those uh, remnants and most of the community has been developed into manufactured homes. That's a really beautiful house. It's really um, nice with those black shutters. So there you see Joe. He's our head construction foreman and he has two guys that work under him. There you see Mr. Dolan on the right hand side. He's uh, obviously supervising. There you see the concrete patio. And then back there you see the concrete creep blocks that will be the piers that will support the, the steel frame under the house. 
So now we jumped inside and we're taking a look at the kitchen and the living room. You've got um, all this, these items on the floor that came to keep the house safe um, and all those products safe, mostly glass items, furnace doors, shower doors, anything that could get broken as it's shaking along the highway is left for us to put up. The kitchen is gorgeous. It's got white cabinetry and stainless steel appliances. You've got your refrigerator, your dishwasher, your stove oven combination, and a microwave. All of the appliances have warranties. The house also has a one year warranty and then year two through seven warranty. There's a look at the living room and we still have to put up the paddle fans for the, uh, the fan paddles for the for the living room fan. Here's a little area, a little nook that you could add hooks or shelving. Here is the electric panel. On the other side of the electric panel is the area for the washer and dryer. So Redmond Homes does not provide these appliances. Each homeowner brings them to the house. Here you see the wire rack and the water and the outlet for the dryer and the vent for the dryer. So the whole house is LED lighting and occasionally you'll see me show you the lighting in the ceiling. Here is the first bathroom with a one-piece fiberglass shower stall with two seats and then again we'll insert the glass door after the house arrives. So that'll be taking place shortly. Here you see your window, your framed mirror, your little towel rack, your commode, and your vanity and your sink. Again, we still have to put the globes up for all the light fixtures. So this is the first bedroom in the back. And I'll have the floor plan um, at the end of this video. So you can see the sizes of all the rooms. All the windows are thermal pane windows, as I mentioned before. And um, this bedroom has in the closet the water shutoff, the data plate, and then back there in that little door behind the actual door to the bedroom is the hot water heater. And I'll show you those up close in a minute. Here we are going into the closet. And that is the main shutoff. On the other side is the data plate. And here is the serial number and then the specifications for how the house was made for this particular wind zone and then all of the information about every appliance that's in the house. Again, the LED lights in the ceiling. There's Joe coming in. So everybody inspects the house when it first arrives. So um, it's pretty much all hands on deck to take a look at the house and supervise, survey everything and make sure it arrived all in one piece. All the doors are covered in plastic to protect them and we'll take that off. Here's the second bathroom. It's a, a wider vanity. Again, the framed mirror, the cosmetic box above this commode and then this one piece fiberglass unit is a tub. It's got the transom window above and whenever we have two bathrooms we try to do one as a shower and one as a bathtub. And whenever we do two bedrooms we try to do one on either end of the house to give you privacy. There's Mr. Dolan also inspecting. I'll show you a peek inside the furnace. This is a Miller furnace and the door, the cover to the furnace is sitting on the living room um, carpeting. That is a piece of sheetrock. So sometimes the manufacturer sends us supplies in the houses, a bucket of paint, trim, or in this case, um, drywall. All the doors are held together as you can see, the bypass doors for the closet so that they don't jostle around in the transportation. And this closet has the wire rack.
this house this bedroom has two bed two windows in the front makes it really bright and cheerful I love that little sunburst above the main door the back door is a little cottage door so just go to the website my home and harbor crossings and fill out the 15 pre-qualifying questions and now we're gonna run through a series of photographs about the house the day it arrived enjoy
Harbor Crossings is a Dolan Homes community owned by um, the Dolan family. We're a small family business. We've been in operation for almost 40 years now. This is Robert Dolan, who man is the managing member of Dolan Homes. We build innovative quality manufactured homes in our three New Jersey communities. In Edison Mobile Estates, Harbor Crossings, and Carteret Mobile Park. This is my husband, my nephew, and my son. This is our amazing crew. Everyone's on board to build you the most beautiful manufactured home. This is our maintenance team in Harbor Crossings. This is our construction team. Our community is um, a beautiful, safe location for having a home, making it affordable. Harbor Crossings pays the real estate taxes, so you're leasing the land, and we're building beautiful manufactured homes. This is my husband and myself. This is our office fronting Black Horse Turnpike. You can email us for an appointment. We see everybody by appointment only. This is our office. We have everybody go to the website where all the explanations, the process, and the available homes are listed. We're really proud of our location. We're in the downtown Egg Harbor Township area, just about to be redeveloped, which is called the Cardiff Redevelopment and it's going to encompass the whole um, area in which we are located and they'll be adding more sidewalks and better access to stores on the other side where the old Boscovs and the Harbor Square is located and it's a very exciting time to be in Egg Harbor Township. We're minutes from the beaches and great, great locations so come check us out. We can't wait to hear from you. There's our website, that's where you start.